What is going on YouTube? This is Cops360 here, and um, as a a kind of PC guy, I started making a few more PC videos. So anyway, I'm gonna get straight into it. So look, say you're you're a consumer, obviously, and you're building a PC, and you see, hmm, uh, this is just the example, right? So this is supposed to be dual GPU versus single GPU video, but you see, say a GTX 690, and you see a GTX Titan. And you're and they're both one thousand dollars. And you see what you see that uh, you know they're pretty similar, but the six ninety ends up performing better in, in a lot of circumstances. But well, not but but look th here's why. Th th this is the thing, you guys. You you might it might be hard to understand, especially if you don't get what I'm saying. But this is it. So it's some a car like a GTX six ninety. A six ninety is two GTX six eighties, except it's underclocked. In one like one PCB like one card if you get what I mean so say I'll try to put the picture up on the screen right now but a GTX 690 it's just it's two GPUs in one like whole package so it's you're you're practically running two GPUs right there so you, that means you're running in SLI or if you have like a 7990 699 you're running in crossfire so single GPU card say like a Titan Titan, it's the same price point as the um, GTX 690. It's a thousand dollars. It performs it's, uh, not not a lot worse, but uh, a tiny bit worse than a GTX 690. But it's a single GPU solution. It's one graphics card in the in the card. It's not two. And I'm sure um, some of you might know that you can only have a max of four graphics cards or four GPUs on a motherboard or a system. So let's put this into perspective. Say you have like a motherboard. You buy like an Asus like maximum maximum six formula or something. And or or is it the formula? The extreme. Sorry, has four G um four graphics card slots. I think they probably run at. 8x there's something about a pld i'm not a plx sorry i'm not sure how that works but whatever regardless look if you've if you got a 690 and you're like full rich on to buy another one you can buy another 690 but then that's all you cannot use the other two pci express lanes because you have filled up um the the graphics card slots by using two 690s because as i said before you can only have a max of four gpus and each 690 has two gpus on it so Watch out when you're, you know, you're gonna buy a motherboard and you plan on buying um, dual GPU solutions. And when I say dual GPU solutions, I mean two GPUs in one. I'll go over like two actual GPUs and like soon. Then go for motherboard that just has two slots and they run at 16x. If that's only if that's what you plan on doing, honestly, I recommend that you stay away from dual GPUs if you can. But you know, if you have the money to, you don't really care, then go ahead, do it. But yeah. However, if you do buy Maximus 6 Extreme and you have a Titan, then you have room to upgrade um, to get buy a second Titan, you can put it in, you can buy a third Titan, put it in, buy a fourth Titan, put it in. But honestly, after you know after two graphics cards, having a third and a fourth, it's not really gonna be for gaming, it's not gonna be for benchmarking purposes. It really just isn't um, practical. You run into more so, um, problems, sorry, than solutions. Because you know there's pr driver errors. Uh, just the game's not supporting it properly, bad scaling, it's just, it would be a big headache if you go for 3 or 4, but 2, yeah, that's right. So if you want to buy um, a GTX, look, so pretty much I'm going to put this here, a single GPU card, I'll start GTX 650, 660, 670, 680, 7, 750 Ti, I don't know if it comes out, 760, 770, 780, and then on the, radio, on the AMD side, Everything up to the 7990. 7990. If the if the number on the AMD sides ends in 90, so uh, 16. Yeah, I could say that ends in 90. Then it's a dual GPU solution. Um, this might not be correct in like the future because AMD might change stuff again. But yeah, 6990, 7990. The dual GPU solutions. Two GPUs in one card. So. Getting back to the actual point. If you're a consumer, you want to buy a card. If you can buy a single GPU card like a 780, 770, Radeon 7950, 7970, and then it'll give you room to upgrade 
to another one in the in the future or even get a third one as well in the further future if you have that kind of money because if you buy 690 or 790 whenever it comes out or uh, Ares 2, a source Mars, blah 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 if you do that that's two GPUs in one you could run into um, SLI problems straight off the bat uh, the SLI that normally um, NVIDIA or AMD they come out with drivers when the game comes out um, and it's normally on game launch, but it might not be you run into driver issues. It's just It's just not worth it. So unless you have the money to just go single GPU It's just a better thing to do So uh, oh, is there anything else I can say? Oh, oh yes, nothing with two GPUs. Look, this is this uh, might be pretty hard to, to uh, Get into your heads, but look you see a GTX 690, right? It's four gigabytes now only two gig of the four gig is usable. Now listen here, the reason the card itself is four gigabytes is because it's two six nineties. Each I mean it's two six eighty. Sorry, each six eighty is two gigabytes, or in this case, the two gigabytes. So two gigabytes on one six eighty GPU on that card plus another six eighty GPU equals four um, gigabytes of um, RAM memory, graphics memory. But not all of it is usable only 2 gig is because look uh memory is used pretty much to store textures if you're playing a high res um the, the game needs to store those textures somewhere and that goes into the video memory now it needs to store each texture to each graphics card but it it, it does it to not each like to each gpu but it will store that texture to both it can't just store it to one so say you have Look, you, look, just make like a theoretical diagram. You have a GTX 690 on top. You have the two, you have it split up into two 680s at the bottom because that's the two um, 680 GPUs. The textures have to go to both um, for it to, to work properly. It's, it doesn't stack up. It needs to go to both. It's like the same thing if you buy a Titan. If you have four GTX Titans, now this, remember, Titan is a single GPU card, so you can have four of them. If you buy four Titans, it... You, you do not have 24 gigabytes of video memory. You still have six. Just that each thing from that main type from the war. It's a bit, you can't use the same kind of diagram, but the game stores it on each graphics card. That's the best way I can say it. I know, um, I don't want to confuse you guys, but that's just the best way I can put it. I just need to store the textures and all that um, information onto each GPU. You can't just store it on one, leave it on the other. Otherwise, what's the point of it? It's useless. So unless um, they come out with stacked RAM, which I do think they will be soon, I think NVIDIA with Maxwell, or maybe it's the one after that, the uh, architecture after that, they want to do stacked RAM, so it actually does stack like that, yeah, and yeah, that's the future, but as for now, no. Nah. So look, guys, single or dual GP solutions, if you can, go for single, if you don't want to, um, just go dual, uh, and yeah, so... It really is up to you in the end. It doesn't matter what you get. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. This was like a, quite a techie video, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.